Question 31. The population of mice on an isolated island can be modelled by the function m of t equals a sine pi over 26t plus b, where t is the time in weeks and t is greater than or equal to 0 and less than or equal to 52. The population of mice reaches a maximum of 35,000 when t equals 13 and a minimum of 5,000 when t equals 39. The graph of m of t is shown. Part A. What are the values of a and b? A represents the amplitude of the sine wave, which is the distance from the line of centre to either the peak or the trough. Now A can be found by finding the difference between the peak and the trough and dividing that by 2. So A is equal to 35,000, which is the peak, minus 5,000, which is the trough, and then dividing that by 2, that equals 15,000. Now B represents the line of centre, or the mean value of the sine wave, and that can be found by finding the average of the peak and the trough. So B is equal to 35,000 plus 5,000, and dividing that total by 2, that equals 20,000. So M of T is equal to 15,000 sine pi over 26T plus 20,000. Part B. On the same island, the population of cats can be modelled by the function C of T equals negative 80 cos pi over 26 outside of T minus 10 plus 120. Consider the graph of m of t and the graph of c of t. Find the values of t, where t is greater than or equal to 0 and less than or equal to 52, for which both populations are increasing. A function is increasing at a point if the value of the first derivative at that point is greater than 0. We want to find values of t such that m dash of t and c dash of t are both greater than 0. Consider m dash of t or dm dt, and that's equal to pi over 26 multiplied by a multiplied by cos of pi over 26 times t. This is a cosine curve that's been dilated horizontally and vertically, but we're only going to consider the horizontal dilation. Here's a rough sketch of m dash of t, which shows the dilated cosine curve. Now note that due to the dilation, one period is equal to 52 weeks, and the part of the cosine curve that's above the x-axis, which is the part that we're interested in, is between 0 and 13, and 39 and 52 weeks. So m dash of t is greater than 0 for t between 0 and 13, or t between 39 and 52. Let's consider c dash of t or dc dt, and that's equal to pi over 26 multiplied by 80 multiplied by sine of pi over 26 outside of t minus 10. This is a sine curve that's been dilated vertically and horizontally, and also translated horizontally. Now, if we replace pi over 26 outside of t minus 10 with theta, we want values of theta such that sine of theta is greater than 0. And we know that sine of theta is greater than 0 for values of theta between 0 and pi. So we can solve for t if we treat this angle as an inequality. I'm going to treat this as a two-way inequality, in fact. So we want pi over 26 outside of t minus 10 to be between 0 and pi, since that's the part of the sine curve that we're interested in. Solving this two-way inequality by multiplying both sides by 26 and dividing both sides by pi, we get t minus 10 is between 0 and 26, and adding 10 to both sides, we get t is between 10 and 36. And graphing both of these inequalities, so this inequality there and this inequality there, on a number line, we look for the part of the inequality that overlaps. So we can see that there's an overlap between m dash of t and c dash of t from 10 to 13 weeks. So therefore, both populations are increasing for t between 10 and 13 weeks. Part C. Find the rate of change of the mice population when the cat population reaches a maximum. C of t is a cosine curve that's been reflected in the x-axis, with the peak occurring when the angle pi over 26 outside of t minus 10 is equal to pi radians. If you compare that with the standard cosine curve y equals cos of x, the minimum value occurs when x equals pi radians. So reflecting that cosine curve in the x-axis, what was the minimum becomes the maximum. Now to find the point where the peak value occurs, we solve this equation for t. And solving this equation for t, we get t equals 36. So the peak value of c of t occurs when t equals 36, or at the 36th week. Now from part b, this is to find the rate of change of 
the mice population, we've already found m dash of t, and we're just going to substitute 36 for t in the equation m dash of t. And that equals pi over 26 multiplied by 15,000 multiplied by cos of 36 pi over 26, making sure that your calculator is in radians, that equals negative 642.706 and so on. Now this is a negative result, which means that the mice population is decreasing. So therefore, the mice population is decreasing at 643 mice per week, rounded to the nearest whole number.